What's up, guys? Neil Orford here to take a look at the upcoming So Rare MLB slate. It is June 26th, so this is the Monday through Thursday slate starting today. While you're coming in, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification button so you can get alerts when our shows go live. All right, so first thing we're going to want to look at here is what do we have on this slate? Which teams are playing more games than other teams? Where where are they playing? Which pitchers are going? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So we're going to look over on the MLB website, look at some probable pitchers. But I'll start. I'll start actually by looking at which teams have the most games. I already looked it over, uh, did my research, and I think that there's only six teams that have four games on this slate. Most teams have three. So the the six teams that have four are the Brewers and the Mets, the Tigers and the Rangers, the White Sox and the Angels. So those are going to be your your six teams that have four games on the slate these other teams just have three i think every other team on the slate has three games and just those six have four games again it's the brewers and the mets the tigers and the rangers the white Sox and the angels each have four games on the slate they're playing uh four game series monday through thursday a game each day uh, so those those might be some teams that you want to focus on a little bit obviously not the best spot if you're playing against the mets for four games or the you know the brewers have a decent uh, you know, hit, hit or miss spots throughout the lineup. So maybe not the best spot there. Probably don't mind playing some uh, Rangers bats against the Tigers. Maybe maybe less inclined to play the Tigers. Um, and then, of course, Angels in, in Anaheim. I think it's going to look good for the Angels there. Maybe uh, maybe play the White Sox too. I think Shohei Otani probably pitching at some point in this series. But, you know, four games certainly helpful for all of those teams as far as bats go. But let's take, let's take a look at some pitchers. Um, so right away, I mean, Justin Verlander against the Brewers looks okay. Uh, he might not be what he once was, but yeah, pro probably not going there unless unless you already have the card. Might be a card that if I have it, I'd be I'd consider playing it, but probably not that interested in it. Obviously, over here, Spencer Strider. Anytime you can play Spencer Strider, you probably should play Spencer Strider. He just gets so many strikeouts. Not the best matchup in the world with the Twins, but with Spencer Strider, you don't really care as much. It's also not the worst matchup. So definitely playing Spencer Strider if you have that card. If you don't have that card, you know, if you can get it, I would recommend it always. Um, Sonny Gray against the Braves. Uh, it's a little bit risky there. Don't know that I love playing Sonny Gray against the Braves on this slate. Uh, Haney against the Tigers, I might consider here. Yeah, I, uh, Luis Castillo against the Nationals uh, obviously looks great. Great matchup for Luis Castillo. He has been great this year. Um, Sign me up for some Luis Castillo against the Nationals for sure. I'd say those are the the top pitchers there. Probably uh, Spencer Strider, Luis Castillo, obviously the top of the board there. But if you have an Andrew Haney, I you might play it. Um, Justin Verlander, maybe if you if you already have the card. Probably not one I'm going out of my way to get though. All right, on Tuesday, what do we have here? You Darvish going up against the Pirates looks okay. Wouldn't mind playing you Darvish there. Probably still not going to Joe Ryan against the Braves. I don't know. Don't know that we have anybody here who can compete with uh, the pitchers from Monday. Uh, Shohei Otani. Yeah, you'd have to. You have to question. So you can. My understanding is with Shohei Otani, you can choose where you play him. So you can either play him as a batter or a pitcher. You can't get stats for both. If I'm if I'm not stacking the Angels, I might play Shohei Otani in a pitcher spot. If I if I were stacking the Angels, though, I'd probably play him as a bat instead of a pitcher. That's, that's a tough choice. It is a a fine matchup there uh, with the White Sox, but I'd probably be more inclined to play Shohei Otani as a batter than a pitcher on this one. Kershaw, even in Coors, uh, you can probably you can probably play Kershaw against this Rockies lineup, even in Coors. Not a bad spot there. Maybe Taj Bradley, consider playing him. All right, Wednesday. Could play Logan Gilbert against the Nationals. I don't think that's the worst spot in the world. Blake Snell against the Pirates interests me. Mitch Keller against the Padres, not a great spot, but I still might consider playing Mitch Keller. Another one that, you know, if I had the card, I might play him. If not, I'm probably not going out of my way to get that card for that matchup. Aaron Nola in Wrigley. Hard to know what the weather is going to look like. Wrigley is so weather dependent, but you can you can probably play Aaron Nola. It might be worth the risk, particularly if you already have the card. Zach Eflin, you know, when you, you can play him in the relief pitcher spot if you have him in the uh, limited contest. So I'd probably play him 
<coughs> if you have that card against the D-backs in that relief pitcher spot, will look good. Yeah, I'd say that does it. And then finally on Thursday, final game of this slate. Musgrove against the Pirates, certainly playable. Bieber against Kansas City, probably playable. Scherzer against the Brewers, I would certainly play. All right, and I don't think Emmett Sheehan has any cards yet. I could be wrong. Maybe they've come up with some recently, but uh, yeah, that's it. So that, th those are kind of the pitching options that I would consider playing on this slate. I think the best, for the most part, come from today's slate. We got some some great pitching options. Probably my favorite on the board would be Spencer Strider, uh, Luis Castillo up there as well. Yeah, interesting. We have some some good pitching options on just a six game slate today but yeah th those would be the top two for me i think spencer strider and luis castillo there were a few others uh throughout the days that look pretty great too but a couple there that i'd love all right <coughs> bats as i mentioned we've got uh just six teams that are playing four games here. i already mentioned definitely like the angels on this slate in anaheim looks looks like a good spot for the angels that's a stack that i would consider playing um I think you can consider playing the Mets as well, even though they haven't been so great this year. And the the Rangers against uh, Detroit certainly looks good as well. But then this is the, the another thing that I always look at every single slate for so rare. Is it a Coors slate? We don't get four games in Coors, but uh, we've got the Dodgers in Coors for three games. If you've got Dodgers bats, I'm certainly playing those probably probably over even the teams that have four games. Just such a good spot for the Dodgers in Coors against this bad pitching staff in Denver. You really can't do much better than than Dodgers and Coors. So I, that's probably the the first place I would go <coughs> if you're trying to build like the optimal lineup. And if you already have the cards, I think it's kind of a no brainer. So probably my top option in terms of stacks would be the Dodgers, followed by the Angels, followed by the Rangers. I think those are the the top three stacks that I would go to on this slate. Um, in general, I'm still in favor of stacking. You know, I'm not sure that it's necessarily optimal, but I still think that, you know, there's still a ton of correlation, even though it's not just a single game slate, there's still over the course of a series, a, a ton of correlation there. So uh, you could could play just a bunch of great one offs, but I still think that I'm more inclined to stack my cards than just play, you know, all superstars in every position here. So that would be my approach on this slate, targeting the Dodgers and Coors, targeting uh, the Angels targeting the rangers bats and then you know we we mentioned several really solid pitching options uh on basically every day here we've got at least a few that look pretty great in great matchups so kind of a fun slate we've got a lot of options that are going to look pretty good here probably be able to put up some big scores anyway that is going to do it for this video again if you have not hit the like button please do hit that like button let me know what your lineup looks like either in the comments or you can tweet at me at player qdfs love to see what your lineups look like also somebody just tweeted at me uh today that he got 11th in a contest with like 19,000. that was that was fun to see that success but even if you you know even before the contest cool to see what other people are doing with their lineups i'm still learning the best way to approach so rare as well so it's fun for me to see what your lineups look like uh here's here's three that i think i'm probably playing here but i i don't know uh necessarily yeah i'm probably playing i'm probably playing all three of these so this is the start to my lineup for this slate um i'll fill it out the rest of it later I haven't figured out exactly what i'm gonna do anyway as i said this is uh i already said i'm, I'm ending the video uh so now i'm actually going to end it thank you guys so much for watching and good luck